Hello everybody, my name is Budley Neck, and today we'll be taking a look at Requiem. This Minecraft mod completely overhauls the experience of dying in Minecraft, replacing the boring death screen with demons, spirits, and possessions. Put simply, and no matter how crazy it sounds, this Minecraft mod makes dying fun. The first time you die in a world that has this mod installed, you'll see this dialogue asking if you want to become a demon. If you're playing in a multiplayer world, this gives every player an opportunity to choose for themselves whether or not they want to partake in this mod's content. You'll only be asked this the first time you die, so whatever you choose here is going to be your new default. Unless you craft an Opus Daemonium, which is an item that you can use to change this choice, and we'll go over that in a little bit. As a demon, in most cases when you die, your demon soul spills from its host and you enter a soul state. While in soul form, you have creative flight, you can fit through holes one block high, and you can even slowly phase through blocks if you need to. But you can't interact with the world. In this state, all you can do is fly around in search of a new host to possess. You can only possess mobs that have no soul, so this means you can't possess mobs like animals and villagers. Once you find a suitable host, all you have to do is click to possess it, and this is your new form until you die again. There are some special death scenarios that won't cause you to enter the soul state. For instance, being killed by a zombie as a human will turn you into a zombie, and dying in lava while in the nether will turn you into a wither skeleton, just to name a couple. While possessing mobs, you have their strengths and their weaknesses. For example, while possessing a stray, you shoot slowness arrows and you have skeletal efficiency, which means you have a chance to not consume any arrows, but you'll burn if you're exposed to sunlight. And while iron golems have a ton of health and do a ton of damage, they have no inventory. In general, possessed mobs are slower than human players, they don't have hunger and don't naturally regenerate health. And you'll lose the ability to do area damage with swords. Depending on the undead that you possess, you can also use items differently than you would be able to if you are human. As a zombie, you can eat raw meat to regenerate health, drown can eat raw fish to regenerate health, and skeletons can repair their bones with new ones. Skeletons can also drink milk for extra bone resistance, if you die too often as a demon, you'll get a new status effect called Attrition. While under this effect, you'll have reduced health, so you should avoid dying too often, no matter how fun it is. If you get tired of playing as mobs, or you just want to get out in the sun a little, you can become a human again by curing yourself the same way you cure a zombified villager. You have to be in a humanoid undead form, give yourself the weakness effect, and eat a golden apple. After a while, you'll be transformed back into your human form. You are still a demon though, so when you die, you'll have to find another host. If you want to stay a human, even after death, you need to craft yourself an Opus Daemonium. There are four variants of this book that allow you to navigate through the mod's different death states whenever you want. The neutral variant is the base version and can be converted into the others by writing specific phrases in the book and signing it which cost 5 XP levels. The phrase Ad Vitam Mortal will create the Cure variant. This will destroy your demon and deactivate the mod's death mechanics, reverting you back to regular Minecraft respawning. The phrase Ad Vitam Aeternum will create the Curse variant that can be used to wake your demon and will activate the game's death mechanics. And finally, the phrase Ad Vitam Vagrate will create the Banishment version that will instantly transform you into a wandering spirit without the need to die. This mod also has built-in support for a few other mods. If you have Origins installed, it'll have you choose your death mechanic when you log into the world for the first time before you choose your origin. It includes a new origin, the wandering spirit, and while you're not in a regular player's body, any origin powers that you have are disabled. By default, Eldritch mobs cannot be possessed, and all golems from golems galore can be possessed. If you have the Better Nether mod installed, you can possess jungle skeletons also. If you plan to use this mod on a server, the developers have added a few game rules that you can use to customize a server's gameplay. You can choose whether or not it'll show the name of a possessor above the head of possessed entities. You can disable the villager cure mechanic, 
and you can set the starting mechanic type to force all players to either be a demon or a normal player at the beginning of the game. On top of all this, they've even made it easy to customize the game even further using data packs. This mod is most definitely a top shelf mod. It's unique, fun, and every feature is well thought out and polished to perfection. If you haven't given this mod a try yet, you really should. And I want to thank the developers for putting in the time and effort to put out such a fantastic mod. I haven't covered everything, I left some things for you to discover on your own, but that is all the time we have for this episode, and I want to thank all of you for watching. I need to give an extra big thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their names are up on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much. I hope you all enjoyed this video, I had a fantastic time making it. If you did like it, you know what to do, hit that like button down below, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Keep playing, keep having fun, we'll see you guys next time.